Hi, I'm Jeremy Parker, and I'm an accountant, but my real passion is movies. This week, I went to see Spider-Man the Movie. Spider-Man the Movie is about a boy named Peter Parker who gets bitten by a genetically modified spider. He decides to become a superhero and save people with his sticky web. Strangely, Spider-Man's archenemy is called the Green Goblin. If I was going to be Spider-Man's archenemy, I would choose a name that would make Spider-Man scared to fight me, like the Large Broom, or the Amazing Spring Clean, or even Mortine Man, or the Incredible Cockroach, or even the Amazing Spring Clean. Spider-Man the movie contains valuable lessons for investors in the stock market. After winning a wrestling match, the promoter refuses to pay Spider-Man the $3,000 advertised as the prize and instead offers only $200 because Spider-Man won the fight too quickly. This is a payout of less than 10 cents in the dollar. In accounting terms, a payout this low is called doing a world comp. Moments later, a robber comes and steals the rest of the promoter's money. In accounting, this is called receiving an executive bonus. Eventually, Spider-Man catches the bad guy. In accounting, this is known as pure fantasy. Besides being Spider-Man, Peter Parker also works at the Daily Bugle. If I was Spider-Man's accountant, I would argue that this is a poor move, because working as a freelance journalist means it's a second job and is taxed at a higher rate. I would advise him to present his invoices to the Daily Bugle on Spider-Man letterhead. This would mean that the income earned as a freelance photographer was part of his normal primary income and taxed at the normal rate. In addition, Spider-Man could then claim the cost of the photo developing as part of the publicity expenses, gaining him from a further tax deduction. Spider-Man the movie also contains valuable insights into how the boards of public companies operate in America. When Norman Osborn has his company sold from underneath him, he decides to destroy the company and become a supervillain. This is exactly what Arthur Anderson did at Enron. I give Spider-Man the movie an unqualified auditor's report.